Okay. I think we are rolling and good to go. So what we're going to do is I downloaded the uh, new update and firmware for the GoPro Hero 3 Black as well as the app um, on the tablet and smartphone. So I have the Samsung Galaxy S2 and the Asus Nexus 7 tablet. We're going to give you a little walkthrough and show you how it goes. So, the Wi Fi is turned on on the GoPro Hero 3. Just make sure the blue light is blinking. I'm going to go into the tablet, GoPro app. Now the important thing that actually took me a while to be able to do was it wasn't finding a GoPro. You have the Wi-Fi on but it says no cameras connected so uh, since I'm an idiot and don't read things I didn't really figure it out but you can just go to your Wi-Fi networks switch it over to your preferred one go back in. So now we have control of the GoPro. It says camera off. Power it on. Beautiful. Now depending on what settings you are on the GoPro, it will or it will not give you a holy crap it's working. Hi! <laughs> Hasn't done that before. Outstanding. She just wanted to be on camera a little bit, huh? So, um, as you can see, there is about a three or four second lag. Actually, it's not even that. It's working out really well right now. So that's good. Um, it's very simple, easy to use when you're ready to record. Boom. Preview not supported while recording, but... Now she is blinking red doing good things. Come back up here. Give me my focus. Thank you. Turn it off. Boom. To go through the settings, I think, which is my favorite feature. It's so quick, like right now. Recording, preview, picture, going. Boom. Burst mode, time lapse. And I mean, you can hear it in the background. It is it is switching over nearly instantaneously as soon as you do it. So, super fast. And uh, then you can go into your settings. There's so much stuff you can do down here. Um, resolution to switch it over, super easy. I'm a big fan of WVGA, 240 frames a second. Now you're ready for slow-mo, and then when you're ready to go back, 720 if you want to bust down the frame rate, whatever you need. Totally awesome. All of your stuff that you need here, all of the settings, um, going through it is it's going to be a lot faster than going through it on the actual camera itself. So, even gives your battery level, SD card capacity, all that good stuff. So, um, also when you lose your camera, if you for some reason can't locate a $400 piece of equipment, you can just hit this little button and then it beeps until you find it. Come back up. Found it. So, cool stuff. Anytime you're done, power off. Power back on. And it's lovely. Hi. You're a superstar, aren't you? Yeah, you are little pimp sauce over here. Okay, right, so here is our startup screen. Kind of see what we got going on there. This is what's being recorded at the time. Also have the Galaxy S2 connected as well. Just so I can go out there and be mobile. Yeah, so if you just want to switch over to pictures. Boom, picture taken. Or,
Get back out of there. You can go into large preview mode if you want. That way you kind of get the full screen of what's going on here. I guess I should go out there and do something. What does that do? Now we're on camera. Burst mode. Oh my god, that's cool. So that's a pretty good day, huh? Yeah.